G'day Chris Walker here when you do your VIP score you draw a circle and you mark in that circle where you think you are out of 10 in each of the seven areas of life so that's outer circle is the perfect 10 and the center of the circle is something less than perfect 10 so that's a zero now realistically what most people have is a variety of scores like they might have um, I don't know a, a seven in relationship a six in career uh, maybe they've got um, mental is down the round about five and they're spiritual well sometimes it's not as good as it could be it's around a four and so we join the dots and what you can see in the center of this uh, diagram is an area and this area in the center of the diagram is really our gratitude area this is how much thankfulness we've got in life so if we've scored quite high if we score quite low and the area of this uh, rather weird looking shape is small we have a small degree of thankfulness for what we've got now a small degree of thankfulness for what we've got is very motivating so a lot of very highly motivated people with big visions have relatively small inner circles but the most important thing to realize is that for most people as they adjust one area out the the uh, one score of their VIP score out another one comes in because their total gratitude for life doesn't change so that the the area is is always changing shape it's changing shape into all sorts of weird uh, combinations of I appreciate what I've got financially all of a sudden my financial scores low because I'm I went to a party and I met a whole lot of friends who were wealthier than me um, or I, I went to a social engagement and got embarrassed or I got proven at work things weren't going well now the area inside this black line stays constant so as one thing goes out another one comes in and and we get this illusion that we're making change but really we're not making change at all we're just shifting the deck chairs around the boat um, and that's how most people's life works but what happens is eventually the whole circle starts to grow and that's our a sense of possibility and as it grows what we thought we had under control starts to uh, is a very sm we get a very small amount of gratitude and then we've got to work really hard to get that gratitude to come back out and be a relatively a relative same amount of gratitude we had with a smaller circle so the circle itself is our vision and how much of that vision we've got fulfilled in other words how small the gap is between what we've got and what we want is determined by the distance from the black line to the outer circle the amount of gratitude we have for life is determined by the volume of this inner line now it's a really important thing to recognize that instead of doing this continual paper chase where the circle gets bigger our gratitude or our gap gets huge between what we've got and what we want we get extremely discontent we start working again and we start trying to keep catch up and get a larger amount of gratitude that there is another way of approaching this and on another video I'd like to demonstrate that alternative approach to life and growth